Hello everyone, I'm Jensen. Today is Saturday, April 17th, and from a day full of interesting court cases to baseball's big return, here's a look at what happened today in Toledo history. On April 17th, 1900, the famous Perry Willow tree at Putin Bay collapsed. The tree was planted by Commodore Perry to mark the graves of six American and British officers who were buried together after the Battle of Lake Erie in the War of 1812. The remains were later interred in a crypt beneath nearby Perry's monument. And April 17, 1905 was a busy day in Toledo court. A young man was sentenced to 60 days in the workhouse for stealing 12 chickens from a yard on Door Street. A 10-year-old boy was sent to Lancaster Prison for stealing $6 from a florist. And a young girl was sent to a convent in Adrian after she ran away from home to become an actress. April 17, 1916 is when ground was broken for the new fireproof six-story Mercy Hospital at Madison and 23rd Streets. It was finally opened in 1918 just as the Spanish flu pandemic was starting to spread through the Toledo area. And on April 17, 1965, baseball returned to Toledo after a 10-year absence as the Mud Hens restarted their legacy in Toledo as a farm club for the New York Yankees. The new home park for the Hens would be the newly renovated Lucas County Stadium at the fairgrounds in Maumee, later named as Ned Skeldon Stadium. And all of this information today was provided by the Toledo History Museum. You can find them at 425 North St. Clair Street, right in downtown. But for now, reporting in Toledo, I'm Jensen Strauss.